Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I am going to be kitting up my seahorse from FG Normal and I'll try to remember to stick a picture so that you can see what it looks like. This is the canvas that I'm going to be using for my May event that I'm participating in. So I wanted to get this kitted up. Um, I am going to be using my Harbor Freight storage containers for the first time. So we'll see how this goes. It'll be interesting. Um, I have already got my stickers ready because I had to go, my canvas is currently downstairs under some heavy books. It had a little bit of a pucker in it um, because the cover sheet over the glue was put on a little bit too tight. So I'm trying to flatten out that pucker. It's working, but it's still gonna stay under there for a couple of days until I get ready to work on this. But the DMC numbers are not on the bags. They are only on the canvas. So I had to go downstairs and get all my DMC numbers so I could get my stickers ready, which I have done. So let's get started. Um, hopefully, because these are kind of big open mouth containers, it won't take me as long to get these up as it normally would. So we'll see, and hopefully I won't make a big mess like I usually do. I'm also curious to see how much these containers hold because there are two or three colors, maybe four colors in this canvas that there are quite a bit of. This one is number 154, as I said, number one on the canvas. Ooh, are those getting caught in the lid? Yes, they are. Okay. So they shouldn't go anywhere when it's closed, but definitely need to be aware of that when I am opening it. Okay. So, because I'm not quite sure how these lay in there. <sighs> Either I don't want to set them this way, but if I turn them this way, then it's possible it can come open. And if I put it this way, then they're going to be laying on these two little bump outs here. So, but we'll see. I don't know if I can stack them or not. Oh, one escaped. Or if I would even want to. So we'll see. Ooh, these may be a little bit more of a challenge than I thought if things were going to escape before I've even gotten started. Okay. So that seems like a good place to put it. I'm going to put these back in here, in theory. Put those back in there, and maybe I will just put them in there like that. So we'll see what happens. This is number two. Let me put the stickers on here first. And I'm using my own stickers that I printed because these are made with my removable sticker paper, which I love. So when I go to remove these, it should be no big deal because it is removable sticker paper, which means it should release fairly easily from the bag. So, number two. I really am kind of afraid now if these are going to work the way I want. And this is kind of a big canvas, so it's a 45 by 85, which means it's a, really it's a 40 by 80. Excuse my type A. Oh, come on. The other two went on there so nice and straight. Why are you being obnoxious? Okay. There we go. Because I have three bags of this color, which happens to be 310. So let's see how many bags I can get in here. I know I can get two because I just did that with the 154, but can I get three? Because all three of these bags are kind of full. So let's see. Plus now I'm kind of afraid they're gonna dump everywhere. I'm not paying attention. Yikes. Okay, ugh, I'm already dumping them everywhere. Go me. Okay, 
Let's just give this a try. I don't think I'm going to get them all in there, but we'll see. Maybe. Nope, they're not all going to go in there. So, now I have to decide what I want to do with the other ones because... Scrape those off. Scrape them off, Claire. Does anybody get that reference? If you do, let's be best friends. Okay, so there's that one. I do have one spare container, I know, because I only have 24 colors and I have 25 containers. So I will put this one in there. However, I do also have a couple of other colors that I know I have more than, I have two colors that I have four bags of and another one that I have three. So I'm probably going to have to figure something out. I'm going to set those aside so that I know those are three tins and try to kit up everything else. Today has been a very hectic day for me. One of those days where I feel like I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Is that too graphic for some people? That's what my grandpa used to say all the time. He had a lot of colorful sayings, some of which I probably shouldn't share on this YouTube channel. But he was colorful, that's for sure. Like this painting. Actually, kind of am really looking forward to this. This will be really kind of the first event, diamond painting event that I have done. Um, I always seem to find out about them after the fact instead of beforehand. So probably my fault because I'm not a big social media person. I have discovered that I am okay with Instagram, but I'm still not a big Facebook or Twitter fan. So if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is the same as YouTube at Diamond Painting Anonymous on Instagram. And I try to post there what I have going on so that you can see work in progress photos and that sort of thing. Um, but now that I've become a little more active on there and also started following a few more people. On YouTube, I am coming across more events that I would like to do, and not because I'm interested in prizes or being the first one to complete one or anything like that. I just like the camaraderie of diamond painting together. Um, that's kind of one of the things that really drew me to this diamond painting community was, well, to diamond painting, was the sense of community that I have gotten um, from everyone that I have met who is also into this amazing hobby. And I, um, while it is sometimes frustrating, this for me has become my form of therapy. Uh, I have always been very into crafts and due to some health things like developing carpal tunnel and getting older and my eyesight not being what it used to, I just can't do as many different crafts as I used to. I have done uh, crochet, I've done latch hook, I've done macrame, I've done all different sorts of painting. I paint miniatures. Um, I have painted ceramics. I have done wood burning crafts. I've done painting, just all, any number of things. Shout out to anyone who's as old as I am. Do you remember the Trichem colors? embroidery color paint that you used to use, if you remember those. Um, I've done calligraphy, I've done just a, a bunch of different things. 
and I um, kind of got out of the habit because again carpal tunnel can't see very well my cross stitch just I, I couldn't see well enough anymore my sewing I couldn't see well enough anymore cruel and bordery all of that um, even crochet became an issue I still do some crocheting but not nearly as much as I used to I tried quilting loved it can't see to sew um, I've tried knitting knitting does not like my brain the two of them do not like each other and never the twain shall meet I can't wrap my head around how to knit I've had so many people assure me it's so super simple but I just can't make head or tails of it most of mine has been self-taught so maybe if I actually took a class from a real person not like that's gonna happen anytime soon given everything happening in the world right now but uh, silver linings what's happening in the world right now is what led me to discover diamond painting and to discover this awesome community which was where I was going before I got off on a tangent um, I have now gotten to a color that is I've got four bags of so I need two I'm only going to get two in there and then I'll leave the other two in bags I think um, anyway this community has just been fabulous even people that I don't you know you just message on Instagram you never really met before people on YouTube everybody in this community has just been really supportive and friendly and that's not something that you always find when it comes to um, hobbies and things there's you know some people who oh you're new so you know you kind of get the the run around until they feel like you've paid your dues that sort of thing and I'm happy to say I have never gotten that feeling from the diamond painting community so I'm gonna set those aside because those are that color and same thing with number 13 I have four bags of number 13 which means I'm not going to fit all of them in here but let's see if I can fit two of them in there um, so it, it's just been really fun and that's been one of the reasons that I kind of wanted to participate in some of these events because um, that sense of community sometimes is really hard to come by especially these days when we're all kind of trapped at home and forced to have all of our interactions online or virtually or you know just not the way that we're used to doing things and so um, it's been nice to see like I said that everyone has been friendly and supportive and and <laughs> dare I say enabling of this um, I'm lucky enough that you know I have disposable income to spend on this what can be an expensive hobby it doesn't have to be but it can be an expensive hobby and as I believe I've already mentioned I have impulse control problems and so um, I find myself with an overabundance of canvases and more more things that I would like to do than I actually have time for um, and of course the YouTube channel doesn't help with that because I see things and think oh I should try that out for my YouTube channel because that's one of my goals as a teacher is always education what can I learn about this craft uh, that I can share with others so that you don't make all the same dumb mistakes that I do when I was starting out um, because let me tell you I've made some whoppers um, So, and it is a learning process, just a lot of the same with any hobby. When you go, you know, you, um, there are things that you have to learn. You have to learn the lingo, what, what things should you have, what tools should you have, you know, because you can start diamond painting with just a very simple kit and the tools that come with the kit. You do not have to have all the fancy things. 
like these fancy containers or these fancy stickers that I made for myself or um, the fancy pins, you know, you literally can diamond paint with what comes in the kit that you get. But it is nice to kind of upgrade if you know it's something that you're going to stick with. And when I first started out, I just did some very basic things and I didn't buy any extra stuff because, have I mentioned I have impulse control problems and I've started other hobbies before and bought a bunch of tools and things to go with it that I didn't really need because I really ended up not sticking with the hobby. And so it was just kind of ends up being money wasted. Um, I did with diamond painting actually try some canvases and, you know, made a promise to myself and kept it that I would start out slow, see if it was something I truly enjoyed, and then go from there. Um, and I did, and it was, and now, eight months later, here we are. Um, I discovered this probably around June or July of 2020, and I started with some small diamond paintings that I found on Amazon and just did those and then it just kind of ballooned from there but um, it is something I do see myself sticking with I do enjoy it immensely it is something that is kind of like therapy for me because when I sit down to diamond paint I just I can put myself in the zone and my brain just kind of goes through the motions in some ways while my subconscious is kind of free to wander and relax and meditate and recharge. All those fun things that, you know, we all need to do, but we so often have any time for. Um, and after s discovering that people are using diamond painting as a form of art therapy for people, I can see why. It is very relaxing and meditative. That one has three bags. I can't fit those all in, so I'm going to set those aside too until I can find some other containers. I want to get those that I can get kitted up at least done and put in here. that only have one bag so I can get them kitted up and then after I get done with this diamond painting and my diamond painting challenge I can report back about whether I like these containers I do have two of them two of these storage systems so I actually have 50 of these little boxes so I will probably drag them out and make myself some additional stickers for the overflow boxes um, that I'm that I'll need for this kit, um, or I may just leave them in bags. Who knows? Um, but I am kind of worried about whether or not they're going to dump everything everywhere. So we'll see how that goes, because that would not be fun. Now I have 24 colors. And I only used one. Did I not get 25 containers in this particular one? Because I only have 24 colors, so I should have had one container left over, which I used for the black, but I'm still finding myself one short. Huh. This is 23, right? So it looks like I will be opening that other one so that I can. See, that one's got a little bit of a tab left on it. Probably not going to use that one. Ooh, there's some pretty hefty trash in there. See if 
this one I am going to set like that because, hmm, interesting that I am out of containers. So that's 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I got shorted a container. Oh, I know why. Because it said it was a 25 piece set and I thought that meant 25 containers and I am wrong because they are including this big piece as one of them. So there's only 24, which means I need to open another one and get out the containers from that. So I will be right back. Okay, I have gotten out the extra containers that I'm going to need to finish getting these up. So let's kit up number 24, which is my other special drill for this kit. And then I will just finish opening all of the extras for the other colors that wouldn't fit in one container. So there's 24, that special drill, put that in there like that. So I have 310 kitted up. This is also 310. So just so I don't confuse myself, I'm going to also make that one be a 310. And then I have this number 12 is 958. But I have two more that I need for number 12, which is 958. And I'm probably confusing people because I'm using square stickers. But I'm using square stickers because these containers are square and I thought that would look cool. Normally, if it's a round kit, I would use round stickers just because. But um, this time, well, I didn't have enough of the round stickers printed out for what I wanted to do. And since the containers were square, I decided the square stickers would look better anyway. So that's what I did. So, kind of smooth those out so I can get the rest of these in here. There we go. Close that. Make sure that's stuck down. Okay, and then I have one container of 959, but I need a second container because, oops, let me put the sticker on it. And I'm just realizing I'm also not going to get all of these to lay in here flat. I apologize if you can hear any background noises. I'm hoping my mic is not picking up the kitchen noises from my family, but you know, I'm trying to tell them they can't eat, drink, make noise, do laundry while I'm filming. Does that work for any of you? Because it certainly never works for me. Okay, so there is the rest of the 959. And then I have 3844, but I need one more container because that third bag will not fit in there. So, and this is kind of a full bag too, so. Definitely not going to get shoved in that one. Okay, so that is all the drills. I possibly could fit that one in there, yes. But this one is not going to fit. So it looks like I'm just going to have an extra one floating around on the top of this, which is fine. It all generally stays in one place when I am done anyway. So there is my kit up in the Harbor Freight storage containers for the um, Seahorse from FG Normal that I'm going to be doing for my May event, which is hashtag sea creature DP fun. I will put links to all of those down in the description in case you want to get this canvas or you want to follow along with the hashtag or you want to participate. Any and all of those would be great. Don't forget before you leave to do all the things. Give me a like, 
hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching.